We've got a story coming up on you and I's Spencer Haldeman, another guy that uh, you'd like to get going uh, from the outside. A very deadly threat from that three-point range. We'll take a look at a story right here on you and I's Spencer Haldeman. A decorated high school basketball star at Western Dubuque, Spencer Haldeman was named the Class 3A Player of the Year as a junior. As a senior, he was named Iowa's Gatorade Player of the Year. While spending his first collegiate season redshirting, Spencer worked on preparing his game for the next level, while helping a team prepare for an NCAA tournament run. He had the right mentality in terms of he took every, every chance. He walked on the floor, went in the weight room to get better so he could prepare himself to be a productive player when, when the redshirt year was done. So he got bigger and stronger. Um, he worked on his ability to make shots, to, to his ball handling, uh, his ability to guard on the defensive end, and did a great job for, for us last year. Now in his first year on the floor, Spencer's hard work is paying dividends. He's found his role coming off the bench and being a valuable member of UNI's young guard court. His shooting ability has immediately put the label of UNI's top three-point threat for the Panthers solely on number 30. Uh, Spencer carries himself with a lot of swag. You know, I think one of his favorite players is Steph Curry. Uh, he, he wears the same number for a reason, and, and that's kind of how he sees the game. He, he, uh, to his credit, right or wrong, he hasn't seen a shot that he doesn't think he can make, and uh, and he he can get going. And we had he had times last year in practice where we couldn't stop him, and he's got range well beyond the three-point line. Spencer is present-day proof that the hard work he put in last year was well worth it. He's now looking to the examples he saw in last year's team as proof that his hard work is far from over. Watching that, it really it really motivates you to to do that and follow, follow in their footsteps. And um, I'm, I've tried my best to, to get there, get to where they were, and uh, I'll continue to improve on that. But he's, he's got to learn just like all the guys, you know, every day he's got to come in with the right mentality. And I think since he was able to do it last year, when you're red shirt and you have no game days, have nothing to look forward to, um, it should be easy for him. And I expect him every day to get better uh, and help us, help us as a team get better.